Hello there. Uh, so today in this video we will discuss about degrees of freedom of a rigid body. So for understanding that uh, we need to understand first what is uh, the degrees of freedom. So the degree of freedom is nothing but the number of independent coordinates required to specify the configuration of a body. But what does it physically mean? Right. So physically uh, it is the number of independent ways in which a body can exhibit motion. And what does it mean okay so let's see what does it mean so let's consider a body in a 3d space okay so let it be x it is be y and it is our z so we consider a body in 3d space okay so this is our body so now this body can move in x axis it can also move in y axis and it can also move in z axis so the number of degrees of freedom of this body is 3 because it can move in 3 directions so that is what degree of freedom means that means uh, in how much way it can move now we will understand it for rigid body now for a rigid body a rigid body which is consisting of at least 3 uh, particles and they should be non-linear particles okay so if it is if they are linear so there is no meaning of that thing so let's consider a body with three non-linear particles okay so let it be particle one let it be two and let it be three okay one two and three so we consider the first particle first that is this one so you can see this particle it can move in three direction x y and z and let it be this x this y and this z so it can move in three direction okay now this particle can also move in three direction and this particle can also move in three direction okay but for a rigid body there is a condition so a rigid body is a body in which the distance between two particles remains constant after any kind of translational motion or rotational motion okay this should be constant that is your ri minus rj should be remained constant now what is rj so ri rj is nothing but the position vector of a particle let's suppose this is the uh, this is the particle of rigid body so ri means okay so ri means the position of the ith particle of that body and if i draw another particle of the body let it be z so rj means the position vector of the z particle okay now this distance ri minus rj should remain constant this should remain constant after any kind of motion okay so this is the condition for a rigid body any rigid body has to follow that okay so ri minus rj should be constant now let's back to this point again now the first particle does not have any kind of restriction in it so it can move in three direction now for the second particle there is a restriction if it is the first particle and it is the second particle this distance should be fixed so it can move in this direction so the second particle can move in only two direction it can move let me change the color this first particle can move in three direction the second particle can move only in two direction and the third particle can move in one direction only as there will be another constant at it and this thing will be fixed okay this thing will also be fixed isn't it so see the for the third particle there is only one direction if we suppose if we suppose x and y is fixed then it can vibrate only in z direction okay 
so if we add another particle let's suppose there is another particle so it doesn't have any degrees of freedom so degrees of freedom for the fourth particle is zero do you have so it has no degrees of freedom after that you add any number of particle they do not have any degrees of freedom present so basically what is the total number of degrees of freedom we get is it has three it has two and it has one degrees of freedom okay the degrees of freedom of a rigid body is three plus two plus one which is six okay so it cannot have more degrees of freedom than six okay so that was the concept so that was the short video about the topic so i will see you in the next video thank you